Hi Scorpios, my what is up Scorpio, what is up and what is good with y'all, welcome and welcome back to my channel gang, thank you so much for clicking on this video and tuning in, so I am going to be getting into love messages for the person on you guys' mind, now keep in mind this is going to be general so it may or may not resonate with every single last person out there, so do take the parts that resonate with you and read the rest for another Scorpios, this is going to be for mid-March for the sun, moon, rising, Venus, north, node Scorpios, okay, what does spirit have for you guys? So I feel like this person broke a lot of promises to you with the broken promises card here. This person misled you in this connection. They led you on, you know, and I feel like the trust is broken here. And this person showed you that they're very unreliable. At the bottom of the deck, it says unvalued, taken for granted, unequal give and take, not feeling appreciated. So you don't feel appreciated <coughs> by this person. You feel there's an unequal give and take, like this person is breadcrumbing you, like they're taking your kindness for weakness. They're taking you for granted. And I feel like you guys are wanting to divorce this person. It says terminating a marriage. Separation will be costly, complicated relationship. Yeah. I feel like some of you may be divorcing your person or you're connected to someone who is married who may be divorcing their person. Okay. In another instance, this person may feel like if they divorce their person, they may lose some money. So it's very complicated. So for some of you, you may be divorcing your person or you're connected to someone who is married. Okay. But I feel like this person took a risk in you guys' connection. They took a risk in you guys' relationship. And I feel like this person is just going in circles with you. It says repeating cycles, not making any progress, not learning any lessons here. Yeah. You may have children with this person or there's children involved here, uh, Scorpios. But I do see this person has been bad intentions when it comes to love and relationship now this may be somebody that you work with or do business with this may be a friend or family member but however i do feel like this is a lover for a lot of you i feel like somebody was staying for the kids or using this children as a pawn but i do see some red flags here when it comes to this person i do see lies secrets and i feel like spirit is telling you to protect your energy and be smart about this situation <clears throat> this person is in deep regret here it says Feeling guilty, remorseful, wanting to undo the damage. Yeah, because you told them you're done. You're single. You're available. Currently no other partner, but you're open to dating. Yeah, I feel like you guys freed yourself from this person who wanted their freedom. This person did not want to commit. It says wanting to be free, not ready for commitment. And I feel like you guys are happy, independent, and single. Okay, but this person is feeling some sort of way here. You know, they feel some kind of way because you guys told them you're done. You freed yourself and you want to date other people. You know, I feel like you guys are focusing on yourselves too. Yeah, cut through. It says emotional and mental clarity. Secrets come to light. Yes, yeah, so I feel like the secrets is coming to light. I feel like there's a breakthrough. Yeah, this person that you're connected to is a player. They're playing the field with you, refusing to commit. They feel like the grass was greener on the other side here. Main lady. Some of you, this person is married. They do have a wife here. But I'm seeing that they want to apologize to you. Okay, some of you, this person, <clears throat> they want to choose you, but they may be in another connection where they're focused on someone else. Okay. Hmm. Or well, you may be married to this person. Let's see. What's the outcome? Oh my God. Lessons was in the reverse. So I feel like this person has not learned any lessons, but I feel like you have. You know, I feel like love lessons have been learned. There's a shift in your perspective and you're raising your vibration. And I feel like there's some unexpected, uh, shocking events happening here. You know, there's a surprise, something you did not see coming. Something is very unexpected, unpredictable. It came out of nowhere. Yeah, this person is thinking about you a lot. I feel like they're coming in towards you. They want to work things out. It says reconciliation. They will return. There's unfinished business. So I feel like this person was thinking of, of you a lot, feeling like you're moving on, feeling like they're losing you, feeling like, you know, you're better off without them. They may be the type to overthink and that's indecisive, but I feel like they're coming in. That may be the shocking part about it. You know, they're coming in. You didn't expect that they coming in with flowers and wanting to work things out with you. They feel like this cycle's not finished. You know, they feel like this is not over between the two of you. And I feel like this is something that you didn't see coming. This person wants a happy ending with you. They feel very blessed and grateful to be back with you or to be in your presence here or to be in your energy here. Okay, I feel like you guys are a tarot reader or you may did a tarot reading on yourselves. You may be hearing this information from me, which I'm a tarot reader. Okay, but I feel like you're getting a lot of clarity here. Okay, and a lot of um, information that you were seeking here. Okay, because I do feel like you, you're wanting to know if you should permanently end this connection. Because I do feel like this person does make you happy. 
Okay, but there's just a lot of lust between the two of you guys, you know, and I do feel like you want to protect this connection. You work, you want to work on things with this person, but I feel like for some of you, you may be ending it with this person. You know, some of you, you feel like you, you, you see yourselves in them, like you mirroring them, like you two are alike, like you two are twins, like you two, you know, dress alike, act alike, think alike. But I feel like, you know, you may be afraid of falling in love with this person because they're constantly lying to you. It says, can't hide in lies anymore. Lies exposed. So this person's lies are going to be exposed here. What you didn't know was coming out. They can't hide it in it, in it no more. This person may have had a fear of falling in love. <clears throat> but I feel like if you are permanently ending this connection with this person, I see a new beginning here. You may be starting with someone new. Okay, it's, it says making a fresh, a new start, the end of a cycle. So I see you ending this cycle with this person. Yeah, and I do see someone that you may be starting a new cycle with who's going to be compromising with you. I see mutual feelings. I see an equal give and take here. Yeah, so I do see someone that is much better that is going to compromise with you. That's going to come in and, you know, whatever energy you're putting out, that's what they're going to put back in. And I feel like you two are going to have feelings for each other. You know, the, the way you feel about them, they're going to feel about you in a good way. There's going to be equal give and take. There's going to be balance here. A healthy relationship I see coming for a lot of you. Okay, yeah, the fool at the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or Aries, but I feel like somebody took a risk in you guys' connection, and I feel like with the sun, that is going to be illuminated. This could have happened in the summer months, or this could be happening around the summer, or this could just be something being exposed right here. You could be connected to a Leo, or this person has fire aspects in their chart, or prominent in their chart. Let's see, why is the sun here for Scorpios? But I'm seeing that you guys are taking this leap of faith into the unknown, into a new direction here. You're wanting something new because you're wanting to be happy. You want it to be free. You want it to be filled with joy here. Okay, yeah. I do feel like um, with the Page of Wands in the reverse, you may have been dealing with someone who is younger than you. Or you're younger than this person. Okay, I do feel like this person did make you happy, but they just don't make you happy like they used to. You don't feel enthusiastic and confident about this relationship. You know, you just don't feel the same way that you're used to. You know, I feel like there's also a lack of communication between the two of you. You two are not speaking at all, you know, because you guys are very focused. It says nine of pentacles here. So you guys are focused, stable, solid, secure, focused on yourselves, you know, doing your own thing, living your best life. You know, a lot of you are, you know, changing your wardrobe, taking yourself out on a shopping spree. This is self-love, self-care right here. This is, you know, you got your, your stuff together, you know. You're stable, you're independent, you're single, you're abundant. But I feel like <clears throat> someone may be stuck in between a rock and a hard place or finding themselves stuck in between a rock and a hard place. This could be a fire sign, an earth sign, okay? Because they need to make a choice or decision. I feel like your person is feeling left out in the cold, abandoned, and neglected. This could be your baby mama, baby daddy, a wife, a spouse, a girlfriend, boyfriend, or just somebody that you are in a connection with. I do feel like they want to manifest you back into their life. I do feel like they want to get you pregnant. I, I do feel like they want a connection with you. They're in love with you. The lovers. But there's a choice between two right here. <clears throat> and I feel like you left this person out in the cold, abandoned and neglected them because you know your worth and your value and you love yourself more. And I feel like you're not going to settle for anything less than what you feel like you truly deserve, Scorpios. Could be connected to a Gemini. But I feel like you told this person to leave or get out or just, you know, get ghosts, get lost. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like this person wants a second chance. <clears throat> judgment. You're being called to make a final judgment. Or this could be a final judgment in a legal court case. Let's see. Somebody could be going to see a judge. Or you could be um, being put in a position of power and authority here. Or you could have some sort of position of power and authority. Or you could be dealing with an Aries. This could be a father or father figure. This could be your father. Or maybe you're retired. Or this person's retired. Or this person could be older than you. Or you're older than them. They may have their own company. They may be an entrepreneur. This is you. But I feel like you're taking control of the situation that has lost all control because this person does want some form of control in this connection. They want some form of control here. <clears throat> the Emperor. Yeah, the Six of Wands. They want a victory with you. But I feel like something is being brought to your attention as well. You guys may be a public figure or in the public eye here. Okay. Or something may have happened in public. Yeah, I feel like this person is coming in towards you. They want victory with you. Chariot, Cancer energy. So they're coming. 
Okay, they're coming in. They're going to travel towards you. I feel like this person is at a distance from you. Okay, but I do see you guys. <clears throat> Your business is being protected here. And I do see you guys moving forward successfully and victoriously. Okay, I do see you guys overcoming obstacles. You could be moving, relocating to a different city, state, country, or a town here. Okay, but I do see that you're moving forward with confidence. You're moving forward with courage here. You're moving forward with optimism. And you're very enthusiastic. And I feel like you're moving forward here. Ten of Cups in the reverse. I feel like this person is not happy. You could be connected to a Cancer Pisces or a fellow Scorpio. Because they want to reach out to you. <clears throat> they want to communicate to you. They want to make you an offer. But they know that you've ended things with them. And they feel like it's over. They feel like it's really over between the two of you. So I feel like this person just wants to play some tit for tat. Tug of war, push and pull type of energy. Because I feel like you've ended things with them. Because they were playing mind games with you. They were playing head games with you. They weren't serious about this connection, you know. And I feel like they're just coming back in because they want to win. They want to win at all costs here. They could be operating from their ego. Because with the Ten of Swords and the Five of Swords, their ego is bruised. Because you've ended things with them. <clears throat> this is conflict. This could be a heated discussion or disagreement. But I feel like you've ended things with them. And this was a painful ending. This was a painful decision that you had to make. Because this person was playing mind games with you. You know, they betrayed you. They backstabbed you. They broke the trust that you two had in this connection. They broke the trust that you had for them. You know, and I just feel like this person took your kindness for weakness here. And they strung you along in this connection. Yeah, temperance. Yeah, Sagittarius or air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with the seven of swords. This person was being very sneaky, hiding things from you. Four of pentacles, not opening up, not being expressive, not telling you everything. Telling you have truths here. This person was lying, trying to pull the wool over your eyes. Okay, this person was um, cheating. They thought they could manipulate and undermine you. They thought they were smarter than you. Okay. Yeah, they were stringing you along. They were being stingy and greedy with their finances. Or they are just being stubborn and refusing to change, resistant to change, and not opening up. And you learned a lot of lessons dealing with this person. You may be a teacher. This person feels like you're a good teacher. But I do see you healing from this person who was plotting and planning. <clears throat> okay, against you. Plotting and planning to hold on to you and maybe offer you commitment. Because I do see this person coming back around with the Six of Cups here. Cancer Pisces or a fellow Scorpio. Or this is you. You could be reminiscing on someone from the past. Or the past is being revisited. It's coming back up. Or this person is coming back in. They want forgiveness. But I feel like you're moving in silence here. Because you're... It's like you're being very strategic. You may be trying to sneak away or get away. You may be trying to save up all your money here. Because I feel like, you know... You may have been in a committed relationship with this person or this person was married. But I do feel like um, you felt like you learned a lot of spiritual lessons dealing with this person. You know, you may be a spiritual guru or this could be talking about an organization, a group, a job or an occult. Someone is getting advice from a, a pastor, a preacher, a family member or a friend who's spiritual or religious because they want to come back towards you. They want forgiveness. And I feel like whoever they're getting advice from, from, they're getting good advice. This could be a Taurus getting good advice about you. You two may have uh, grown up together from childhood. You know who this person is. They know who you are. Okay. I feel like this person um, is coming back around after some sort of delay. I feel like this, com this person is coming back around. They want forgiveness. They want to reconcile with you. Six of Cups. Okay. But it's up to you guys if you want to reconcile with this person. I feel like a lot of you don't trust it. And you may be holding back and holding off and not opening up. Because you've learned lessons dealing with this person in the past. And so you may not be interested in wanting to reconcile with this person. You may just be wanting to heal. Because this person is just all about mind games, head games. And you know they think that they can get away with this. I feel like some of you... <laughs> It could be like five of you here. Some of you may be giving this person another chance because they may show you that they matured, they they stepped up, that they, you know, uh, want success and victory, that they want to move forward with you. But I feel like as still, somebody's not happy about the offer that was made to them. 
you know i don't know what this <laughs> what this is trying to say because i feel like this person doesn't have much to offer to you but they're making you some sort of offer this is someone that offers you the bare minimum but you feel betrayed backstabbed or they do they feel like you're playing games like you're stringing them along like you're lying like you're holding back the truth like you're not being honest Something about the past may be coming back up, maybe resurfacing. <clears throat> but I do see this person wanting to reconcile, wanting to work it out with. I'm sorry about that. My daughter was calling me. She's in the tub. She's got to get out of there. So I may pause the video to do that and then come back. I understand you better now. So this person understands you better now, but they are struggling without you. And your person is really sorry. They're sorry that they pretended. That you didn't mean that much to them. They sorry that they pretended to, you know, play the field and stuff like that with you. And I feel like you forgive this person. You know, you forgive them because you're wanting to move on and heal and get over this situation. But they wish you would come back to them. They wish you would come back to them. But I feel like you never want to feel that way again. Because this person, they did lie to you. They lied to you about something here. Let's get three more cards for Scorpios and then we're going to move on to the next spread. You are not part of my plan. I focused on you instead of my pain. I am not coming back. Wow. I fantasize about you. I know I said three more, but I'm sorry, y'all. Yeah, so this person fantasizes about you coming back. They want you back in their life. They want forgiveness, okay? They know that they've made a mistake. They are very sorry, you know, for doing whatever it is that they were doing to you they're sorry for hurting you for mistreating you for lying to you they want you to come back so they could do it right they want you to come back so they can fix it but i feel like you guys are afraid because you never want to feel that way again you feel like this person's just gonna repeat the cycle and lie to you again and it's like you're not you're healing it's like you're not gonna let this person mess that up but you do wish them well you know you don't have any bad juju or voodoo or any type of bad energy towards this person but you just want them to know that you're intuitive and you know more than they think you know they want to tell you so much they want to talk to you but it's like you guys are not talking right now because i see the hangman i see the hangman i feel like some of you guys don't want to listen to what this person has to say because you feel like everything that comes out their mouth is a, is a big lie. But I feel like you guys are going to be starting a brand new cycle with someone else for a lot of you. And I do see that this person is going to bring compromise to the connection. They're going to bring an equal give and take. I feel like they're going to have real mutual feelings. There's going to be real mutual feelings between you and this person. And this person is not going to be stringing you along. And I do feel like you guys with the temperance is going to be very balanced. I feel like you guys are going to be patient i feel like you guys are going to be patient with the people that you um, move forward with in connections or the people that you um interact with in your life the people that you meet the people that you date i feel like you're going to be very patient with that i feel like you're being patient with yourself and i feel like things are balancing out for you and i do see you guys healing okay let's go to some love oracle messages for you guys and then we're going to move on to our last spread and then i'm going to check out you guys, if this resonating with you so far, like this video up. You can like and listen at the same time. Share this video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys are going through. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So it says spiritual growth, learning, expanding the soul, listening to mantras. I do see you balancing out your chakras here. I do see you um, taking spiritual baths here. Um listening more to your intuition learning lessons from past experiences and not making the same mistakes and learning lessons from past relationships and evolving and learning from it and moving forward and healing i see spiritual growth here for a lot of you you may be a young female very youthful into music and fashion or this is somebody around you this could be somebody that you're connected to or somebody that you know I feel like for a lot of y'all, that is you. Or you could look very young and you could be into music. You may um, be like a producer. You may like to do beats. You may sing. You may rap. Or you may be into fashion. You may make clothes. You may have a clothing line or like merch, like a sh like shirts or um, like shades. Or you're just into fashion. Okay, yeah. Uh, you may be meeting a dark male or this is you. Okay. 
I'm seeing travel. I'm seeing flights. I'm seeing vacation, honeymoon. You may be traveling towards someone or someone could be traveling towards you. I'm seeing enjoyment here. Yeah, you guys are looking good. It says beauty queen shining on stage. This person is going to adore you. Yeah, I feel like you guys are public figures or you're in the public eye or you're performers. You're shining. I feel like you're going to get a lot of recognition here and a lot of um, attention here. I feel like, yeah, you may be changing something about your appearance, your hair, your weight, your, could be your boobs, could be, um, your clothing line, or, I mean, your, uh, your, your, it could be your, um, uh, your wardrobe, you could be changing the way that you dress, yeah, but somebody is adoring you that you're dating here, okay, or you're going to be dating this person, it says whining and dining, it says romance, so I feel like this person wants to take you out, they want to whine and dine you, they want to romance you, who is this person for Scorpios? A courting man somebody wants to court you somebody wants to take you out you guys go check out Gemini's reading because Gemini had the same cards here excuse me you may resonate with Gemini um, reading someone who like is a flight attendant or they may have worked in the military or the army or this is someone that is a banker or this is someone that is a real estate agent or a property agent or this could be someone Who's like works on Wall Street. This is a professional male. Someone who's in uniform. Okay. This person's occupation could be anything. But it's true love coming in. This is a pure honest connection. I see pure love. I see an honest connection. This person may work with jewelry, crystals, or gemstones. Okay. Or this person is coming in to add value to your life here. Okay. Or you could add some sort of value. To this person's life wow but it may be short-lived or short-term oh my god <sighs> you may have met this person at a house party with the home card here your friend may have hooked you up with somebody for a small portion of you oh boy Damn, it was just getting so good. It was like, it's too good to be true, man. Oh, no. This could be somebody around you that committed a crime and did something to somebody. I'm not saying it's you. I'm not saying it is you. Courthouse, there's a legal situation going on. This could be child support. Oh, this is a small, like, claims court. Because if you don't have a child, right, this is like a child. Somebody is taking you to court or you're taking someone else to court. I'm going to say you because I'm speaking from your side, your perspective. This is your reading. So you're taking someone to court for child support. Or if this is not child support, this you could be taking someone to small claims court. Could be about work, toil, and labor. Yeah, you could be taking someone to small claims court. Could be somebody you work with or do business with. Or it could actually be this company right here that you're taking to small claims court. Yeah, because uh, you weren't being paid enough. They were ripping you off or like not giving you all the money. Or, or this could be workers comp that you're filing for. Or it's like they didn't pay you what you were worth or what you were supposed to get paid. You were broke a lot of times or you like your check didn't look good, like it didn't look right and you put in a lot of work. You you put in a lot of effort, but for somebody it's like they didn't give you what you were supposed to get. Because I feel like you working, somebody is working. If this is not you, there's somebody working, but they're always, they don't have any, they never have enough money. This could be like something that is at a distance. If this is a job, this could be someone that is at a distance from you. Somebody you work with or do business with. Or this, this job could be at a distance. Or you may have to like travel far to this job. It may be kind of far from where you live at. Yeah, you may be spending a lot of money just to go the distance. Okay, what? This situation is affecting someone's health. Someone is concerned about 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 this situation. What else is coming in for Scorpio? Somebody's in despair. Somebody's not doing good. 
somebody could have been looking for other jobs and they're not hiring or somebody's concerned that they may not get another job or that they may not get hired at another job or they may have a hard time finding a job or they may just be in despair because nobody's hiring and they're not working and they feel depressed someone goes to like job interviews but nobody's hiring or someone's concerned about going to job interviews and like not getting a job or not getting a job in time or like having to go to many interviews or fill out many applications here for jobs well somebody's like stressed i'm seeing stress i'm seeing someone needs more sleep you're about to get a message though you're about to get a message it could be from a person or it could be from this courthouse or this yeah i feel like when this letter comes in or this message you're gonna have to travel you could be thinking about a lot or have a lot on your mind right here but I feel like there's people here to support you, to help you. One more for Scorpios. Yeah, you could be thinking about a mature woman right here. This could be like a grandmother or great aunt or your mother. Or this could just be saying that, you know, you're a very mature woman. Okay, you may uh, be young and you just, you know, you think ahead of your time here. You're ahead of your, you're ahead of your years. Or, you know, you're just very mature for your age. Okay, but I feel like there's somebody going to court. Okay, somebody's mother could be going to court with them or somebody's mother's involved in like a legal court case or this could just be saying that you're very mature for your age. You're very mature when it comes to these legal situations here. You're very smart and I feel like it's going to go in your favor. You could be suing somebody. Somebody could be getting served documents. You could be suing somebody. You could be taking someone to court for child support, alimony, for a business, for a company, workers comp. You could be... um. This could be a divorce too. This could be anything. But I feel like a lot is changing for you for the better. Okay, Scorpio, that's what I'm seeing. <sighs> Let's see. Your age or your person's age may be uh, 30 years old or older. You may be 32 years old or older. 33 years old or older. 31 years old or older. 36 years old or older. 37 years old or older. Somebody's in their 30s. Definitely in their 30s. Early 30s to late 30s, 38 or older. I'm seeing 18, I'm seeing 23. If you have a child, your child may be 7, 10, 16, 6, 9. Your person may be 39 or that's your age or older. Somebody's definitely in their 30s here. Very significant for the 30s. Okay, yeah. True, true, true. You may be seeing 777 a lot. You may be seeing uh, 999, 666. Check out those angel numbers. You may be seeing tens a lot. Yeah, check out those angel numbers, guys. So that is it. That is your messages. That is going to do for this reading. I hope you guys enjoyed and found the clarity that you guys are seeking from this reading. I hope this resonates with you all. If it does, like this video up right now. If you like this reading, if you want to see me do more readings like this, hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Turn the post notification on ALL because I would love to have you as a part of the fan Lee, okay turn your post notice on to all so you won't miss any readings that i upload for you guys i have a lot more content coming out for you guys and you know i'm gonna spice it up a little you know a little bit more for you guys so stay tuned i love you guys so 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 much until next time bye scorpios i'll see y'all in the next reading